Hello. So in this problem, we are given the speed of light, which is three times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And we are asked to convert the speed of light to some weird, um, I guess, very old units um, for longs. Uh, which is going to be a, a unit of distance per fortnight. I guess like the video game, uh, which is a unit of time. And uh, so this is just, you know, about conversion, uh, which essentially means that you want to multiply times one um, until you get what you want. And we'll see how that is done. So we're giving a little bit more information about uh, furlongs and uh, fortnights. So a furlong is equal to one eight of a mile, which is equal to 660 feet, which is equal to 220 yards. Which is equal to 40 rods. Uh, which is equal to 10 chains. And you know, there's a lot of information here that I mean you might use, uh, but it's perhaps not necessary. So I know the conversion, the conversion factor between miles um, and meters. So I can just use this first um, equality. So uh, one uh, thousand six hundred and nine meters is equal to one mile. Okay, so this is really uh, the the only one that we need for for furlongs. And for fortnights, uh, we are told that one fortnight is equal to 14 days. And over here we have seconds. So we need a conversion factor between um, days and seconds, which is not that difficult to get. So let's start to do the multiplication. The speed of light is three times 10 to the eight meters in one second. So we're gonna multiply times one and you want the seconds to be up here. So, you know, first uh, let's get to days. There's 3,600 uh, seconds in one hour, right? So 60 times 60, 60 uh, minutes and 60 seconds. So get the 3,600 seconds. And we know that there's 24 hours in one day. And there are 14 days in one fortnight. Right, so we can get rid of the seconds over here, the hours. You know, they are on, uh, this one is in the denominator. Well, this one is in the numerator, so we can um, cancel them out. They're equal to one uh, days. And now we have, if, if we multiply this times 3,600 times 24 times 14, we get meters per fortnight, which is almost what we want. So we can continue uh, over here. Um, 
So uh, we said that we were going to use that is one eight of a mile um, in a furlong. So let's get to miles first. We have the meters uh, up here. And this is just a continuation. It's just that I don't have enough space. Um, so we want the meters down here. So one thousand six hundred nine meters is one mile, and one eighth of a mile is one furlong. So this meter is up here. This one is down here. This mile is up here. This one. This one is down here. So now we have the furlongs on top and it's the only um, unit that we have on top and it's a unit of length. This, uh, and over here we have the fourth night, which is a unit of time and it's the only unit that we have uh, in the denominator. So, you know, we can just uh, do the calculation. So this is, uh, three times 10 to the eighth times 3,600 times 24 times 14. And this is one, this one is also one. So this is uh, 3.6 times 10 to the 14 and the units are furlongs. And down here, we only have, um, oh, we have to multiply. Oh, this is fine. So um, 1,609 times one divided by eight. And so this is 201 um, fortnights. Right, so if we divide the 3.6 times 10 to the 14 by 201, uh, this whole thing, well, I guess, this one is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the 12th. And the units are furlongs per uh, fortnight, right? So we get the speed of light in very old and we are uh, units, but you know, uh, if they are standard, then you can express uh, whatever quantity you want uh, in that standard. It might not be very useful because nobody knows, or almost nobody knows, um, what a furlong is or how long it is. Um, but yeah, this is the the speed of light. Thank you.